Now I will show you solution of some applications using the basic definition of rate of change. That is we'll derive it from secant to tangent, right? The question here is a spherical balloon is being inflated. Find the rate of change of the surface area of the balloon with respect to the radius when the radius is 10 cm. So rate of change of surface area with respect to radius means this is surface area change divided by the radius, correct? So independent variable is r and surface area depends on this r. Now this rate of change is average rate of change. But if I decrease this value delta r to a very very small number then it becomes instantaneous rate of change. And so we can write this as where limit delta r approaches 0, right? So now this becomes the instantaneous rate of change of surface area with respect to radius, correct? Okay? Now, so that means what? When we say delta r approaching 0 and we are interested in finding surface area, I mean rate of change of surface area when radius is 10, it means that we have to take an instance which is very close when the radius is 10. That's what it means, right? So let that be the r value. In that case, we can write the surface area, change in surface area for a value r minus change in over when r is 10 divided by r minus 10. So that's the average. But if this value of r approaches 10, then delta r will approach 0, correct? So we can write this as where limit r approaches 10. Do you see that? Now that becomes an instantaneous rate of change of surface area with respect to radius when the radius is approaching 10. Do you see that? That's what it means. So now we can apply the formula, expand and simplify. We get limit r approaches 10. The formula for surface area is 4 pi r square. Let's keep it very general. 4 pi r square minus at 10 r is 10. So we'll plug in 10 here. 4 pi 10 square divided by r minus 10. Now we get limit r approaching 10. 4 pi is common, so we'll get 4 pi. And we are left with r square minus 10 square divided by r minus 10. Now as you can see, we can simplify this. We can factor, right, this difference of squares. So limit r approaching 10 numerator is 4 pi and we can write this as r minus 10 times r plus 10 divided by r minus 10. Now r minus 10 over r minus 10 is 1. Correct? So, so 1 times anything is the same number. So we can write this as equal to limit r approaching 10 and we are left with 4 pi r plus 10. Do you see that? So this is the rate of change, the instantaneous rate of change of surface area with respect to the radius when radius is approaching 10. Now, when it is, so, so the value for this will be when r is very very close to 10, we can find the value. So if I substitute r as 10 here, I get 4 pi times 10 plus 10, 20, right? Or this is 80 pi. So that is the instantaneous rate of change of surface area, right? And what are going to be the units for this? Areas, surface area centimeter square, and radius is centimeters, correct? So we can write down our answer as, let me write it in a different thing. So, rate of change will be 80 pi centimeters, right? So, it's centimeter square for surface area over centimeter for radius, right? So, that is the exact answer for this. 
So, well, you can always write pi and multiply it 80 by pi and write down in decimals also. So that is the answer for this question. I hope you appreciate that in this method, there was very less calculation involved and factoring helped us to solve this problem in a simpler way. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.